today I'm here in North Shire in the North York Moors National Park and this is a real life Hagrid's hut that you can stay in and I'm staying here for the weekend so I'm going to take you on a magical tour of Hagrid's hut in Yorkshire. So of course Rubius Hagrid is the keeper of the keys and grounds of Hogwarts and so you'll find that North Shire have created his hut exactly the same as you see it in the movies. So the hut is made of three squat towers and the main one is the lounge area which has lots of pots, pans, hooks and bags just like you'd expect in Hagrid's hut. The main tower is the lounge area, which has a roaring fireplace, two comfy double sofas, and a television to watch movies on. There's also a dining room table and a kitchen area. What I loved about the hut was they had little details like Ron's Howler and the Monster Book of Monsters. And there's also lanterns, notebooks, quills, and all sorts of bric-a-brac. The groundskeeper's cottage at Northshire is fully set up for self-catering, so they have a huge kitchen area with all the amenities you could want, including a toaster, kettle, all the cutlery, plates, microwaves, and a fridge. As you walk into the second tower to the bedroom area, you'll find a huge double bed and a bunk bed that is made for children, along with a set of drawers and some barrels to have your bedside tables. But beyond this sleeping area, the hut actually sleeps six people, four adults and two children, and the sofas in the lounge convert into a sofa bed as well. The third and final tower of North Shire's Grand Creepers Cottage is this amazing Ministry of Magic bathroom with these fabulous green tiles and a double lined copper bathtub where you can shower. It also has a toilet and washroom facilities here so you don't have to go outside to use the bathroom. There is everything that you could ever want as a Harry Potter fan in this cottage. They have all eight DVDs. There are also Harry Potter board games, puzzles and card games for you to play as well. I absolutely loved spending the day in this hut because it's so cozy inside and I just actually didn't want to leave. I had a great time just sitting on the sofa and reading one of my favorite Harry Potter books, which is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And of course, as soon as the sun goes down in Hagrid's hut, it is so cozy and warm inside because there's heating and it's the perfect excuse to set up the fire and have a movie night with some of your favorite Harry Potter movies. We set up a Harry Potter feast of butterbeer, wine, popcorn, fudge cake, and Bertie Bott's every flavor beans when we were in the cottage. Of course this is Yorkshire and there is a bit of rain but it is completely dry in the cottage and this actually reminded me a lot of Hogwarts and so I loved it when it was stormy and rainy outside while we were having our movie night with some wine. Northshire is a farm and so you'll probably find some of their animals here including forks, a peacock and some chickens that will keep you company while you're here at Hagrid's hut. And the outside and grounds of the hut is just as amazing as the inside. You have a great porch here to welcome you inside Hagrid's hut. And if you go around the back, you have your own private garden with a picnic table where you can eat lunch or dinner if the weather is nice outside. The hut has incredible views of the North York Moors National Park and you can even see the coast from here, which I just loved. There are plenty more accommodation choices at North Shire, including an amazing hobbit hut that you can spend the night in. They also have a great range of caravans that you can book and they have a big play area for children, which means they will never get bored. 
There are some amazing places to visit near North Shire and one of them is Gofland Station where they filmed Hogsmeade Station in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And you can visit their station to watch the Hogwarts Express daily from April to October. It's also only a short drive away to amazing coastal towns like Saltburn by the Sea and Whitby, which is one of my favourite places in the UK. Here you can visit the 199 Steps and Whitby Abbey, which was the inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula. We had the most magical time at the Groundskeeper's Cottage in Northshire and I would highly recommend that you book a stay. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more.